Hey everybody, welcome back to JDM World. You've probably seen our previous video where we unboxed and set up the new Oculus Quest. Well, now we've got its big brother, the Oculus Rift S. This is the new version of the Rift, and let me give you a preview. This thing is awesome. Um, it, uh, in my opinion, is better in every way than the original Rift. Uh, the graphics are, are gorgeous. The fit of the, the headset itself is, is amazing. With the, the new twist lock on the back, it's really, really, really cool. So we're going to get in, we're going to open this thing up, and we're going to walk through the setup and answer as many questions as we can for you so that when you get your unit, you are ready to go. While we unbox this, the question that most people have is why would I want to buy an Oculus Rift S as opposed to something else, right? So if you look at the Oculus product portfolio, they have the Go, the Quest, and the Rift S. The Go is not really a gamer uh, unit, so that, that's kind of out of the running right off the bat. The Quest is the wireless version, right? So it's basically having a like a cell phone shoved in the front of the unit and you don't need anything except some Wi-Fi. And then this unit is uh, their traditional tethered unit, meaning that uh, this will not operate without being connected to a PC. Now, on the surface, it might seem that your Quest is gonna be your go-to unit, right? Why, why wouldn't you buy one that doesn't need a PC and one that doesn't uh, need cables, right? It can just go anywhere very easily. Well, the answer is that the Rift S is awesome. The graphics are better, um, the uh, headband and the way this thing fits your head is better. It's just better in every way than the Quest. What's the downside? Well, you have to have a VR ready PC. If you had a Rift before, you've got one. If not, I suggest you go out and get one. If you wanna have the best experience you can, that is what you're gonna need to get there. That will take you across the finish line. Uh, VR ready PC and the Rift S is absolutely the way to go. Now that we have everything unboxed, it's time to install the software and also walk through the setup of the device itself. Um, if you had the Oculus software before, you'll be able to reuse that. Um, but if not, you need to go to oculus.com slash setup and you can grab the software there. You'll want to download that and then run that on your computer. And you're gonna see us do that here. I already had this installed, um, so it's gonna come up and say, hey, you've got this software already. What do you really wanna do with this thing? Um, for us, we're just gonna go ahead and skip that installation. But for those that don't have the software, you need to step through the installation and get that installed. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll skip that and then go ahead and open it up. And uh, you can see on the screen now, that it's, uh, hey, it's confused. Hey, you've already got this. What do you want to do? We're going to open it. And once we get that open, it's going to take a look and see what's going on on our system. And we have not opened this software on this computer for a while, so we need to update the Oculus software. Um, for folks that uh, are doing a new install, hopefully you won't get hit with too many updates, but we need to update our software as well as the drivers. Um, this, uh, this driver update allows us to support the new Oculus Rift uh, S as opposed to the older Oculus Rift that we had. Now, once that's all complete, and and I'm skipping through this stuff pretty fast. I'm cutting out a bunch of uh, a bunch of time here in the video. Uh, you'll go ahead and go to Devices, Add a Device, and that's Add the Headset there, and it's going to say what you got. You got a Rift or a Rift S, and we have the cool new stuff. So we're going to click on Rift S and that will allow us to then start actually installing the hardware into our environment. So you can see I've got the headset set out and my PC, which is in the entertainment center, I've got that thing spun around already so you can see the back. And we're gonna plug in a display port and a USB 3 cable. Uh, my display port is gonna plug into the back of that 1080 um, from uh, uh, NVIDIA, it's a GTX 1080. And then I had added a extra USB 3 card. You can plug this into your system board or you can plug it into an expansion card, it doesn't matter. Um, in the past, you needed a whole bunch of ports to support a bunch of sensors, but now that magic is inside the headset. So you plug those two cables in and then uh, look back up and it should start flashing those lights saying, hey, everything is plugged up. 
life is wonderful and we are ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is more updates. So now that the uh, software, your computer can talk to the headset, it's gonna say, your headset's got old firmware on it. And that's just because um, they continually make updates to this stuff, right? So go ahead and step through that and uh, let it update your firmware. And uh, once that's good to go, it's time to put batteries in. And batteries are super easy. Those covers are magnetic and they snap right off and then snap right back in. So you'll see that pop in place without any force at all. Once the batteries are done, um, the controllers will pair. And at that point, all of the pieces are, are really in place. Uh, uh, there's another firmware update that will have to be done. And as that happens, you'll feel those uh, handsets buzz just a little bit as they cycle through it and update. Now, there are two videos that come on. There's a safety video uh, that you can watch or you can skip through, whatever your preference is. And then it's time to really get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, they're asking you to clean, uh, clean your play area, all right? So push everything out to the side. And this is where we're gonna start getting uh, into the actual headset itself, right? So once everything is uh, is cleared out of the way, it's gonna ask you to put on your, uh, your touch controllers, and then it's gonna ask you to put on your headset, and you'll want to uh, adjust both the, the clicker in the back, that'll tighten and cinch up the headset to make it tight. Then you'll pull the uh, Velcro, Velcro strap across the top so that it doesn't sink down too far on your face. And then that little button lets you slide it away from your eyes and toward your eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for, uh, that for you guys now. Um, you know, it's always good to have a really super attractive model um, show you how to deal with uh, fashion accessories. And that's really what my job is here, right? I'm, I'm here to, to look good, right? Um, don't forget to pull off the plastic covers from the lenses. Uh, you can't really forget because if you look in there and you see them, you will be ready to pull them off. Um, but just like in the video, slap it on your head. Um, get everything situated and I have a very large head and this thing fits me really well um, We also tried this on a eight-year-old and a ten-year-old and it was able to fit them quite well um, Also now the and this from my point of view fits better than any of the other uh, Headsets that oculus has produced up to this point. So once you get that on it is now time to step into the world of virtual reality and let me tell you what this is spectacular. I, I really um, didn't know what to expect. I mean, I, I have had the, the Rift and the Rift was okay, right? But this is really lots and lots better. And uh, we've got an application where we can mirror what's going on in the headset up on the screen. So you can kind of see uh, what's going on with me as I am going through the setup pieces. Uh, inside of the headset, but also um, it's broadcast on the screen so you can see what's going on. Uh, right now we're defining the play area. And what's really cool and what you can't see is that um, it's actually showing me the room as I'm looking at the, the VR headset on the inside. So I can see the walls and the furniture and everything. It doesn't come across in the mirror software, but for me, I was actually just tracing along on the floor. I can see my carpet and sofa and everything. And I'm just drawing a square around a safe area where I won't stumble into furniture. Um, and this uh, will create these boundaries um, that make it a little bit safer um, to play so that you're not stumbling around things that you can't see. Now, obviously, you don't wanna play with a camera in the middle of your play area like I have there, uh, but uh, I, I don't think most people will be filming this. Now, once that's done, um, you're, you're really getting pretty close to being done with everything. Your, your play set is set and now, uh, uh, you're, you're seeing the introductory uh, sequence and this is stunning inside of the headset I mean and there's also sound that uh, that comes from the uh, the headband that you can hear at this point and it is just it is just super 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 gorgeous so this uh, this will go on for quite a while um, and uh, it's really, really fun to, to watch this. But at this point, everything, everything's set up. You're ready to go. So it's going to now uh, take you into different sequences where it teaches you how to use the controllers and how to push the buttons and how to hold on to things and how to aim and how to pick up and manipulate objects. And you know that takes uh, maybe a half an hour to go through. Um, and I really highly recommend you, uh, you do all of those things. Um, it'll help you get familiar with the system and, uh, and learn what's going on. So 
that is our setup video. That takes you from soup to nuts, um, everything you need to know on how to set this thing up, how to unbox it, how to plug everything in, um, what you need to do to get it up and running. Um, and uh, it will take you probably an hour and a half in real time to get it done, assuming that your computer is all good to go. So um, I hope this has been helpful to you. If you guys uh, grab one of these, please drop some uh, comments down at the bottom and let me know how it goes.